for today's video, we are going to review items from Switchable. So before we proceed, I would like to thank SwitchBot for sending us these products to be reviewed. So the items that we are going to review for today's are, first is the motion detector, second is the indoor camera, and the third one is the door sensor. Before we continue in reviewing these products, so I had made several videos reviewing other SwitchBot products. I'll just put it down on the description box or click the link up in this side. <laughs> so, so those products were the SwitchBot curtain and its solar panel accessory and the SwitchBot mini hub and the SwitchBot bot. So without any further ado, let's start the review. So our first device that we are going to review is the SwitchBot indoor camera. So on the front of it is its 130 degree wide angle lens. So below it, there is a tiny hole that is the microphone. So in its side is the micro SD card slot. So you can put up to 128 gigabytes of SD card. So at the back, as you can see, this is the speaker grill. So this indoor camera has a two-way communication ability. Below it is the power port. So it is a, unfortunately, it is a micro USB. It's not a USB type C. By the way, this is not a charging port. This is the power supply port. So this has no battery. This teeny tiny button, this is a multifunction button to reset it and other function. And the bottom part, so this hole and this hole on its back is for its stand. So you can put this one, its mounting stand on the back and on, on the bottom. So I'll put it on the bottom. So by the way, regarding the mounting stand, uh, you can open this one and there is screws in it. So by the way, the bottom of this stand is magnetic. So you can place this to anywhere that is metal and you can mount it there. So let us talk more about the abilities of this indoor camera. You can stream 1080p HD videos to this camera anywhere in the world as long as there is internet. So if you want this to connect also to your internet, you need the SwitchBot Mini Hub. So I'll put the product link on the description box below and kindly click that one. So let's proceed. So this camera also has a night vision capability. So during low light conditions, this camera has six IR LEDs, so it can illuminate up to 29.6 feet or nine meters. Quite good and it's clear. So another capability of this camera that it has motion detection. So the motion detection here is quite unique because you can set it to human only detect. So it can distinguish whether it's a tree or a door or any moving object and it can distinguish it is it human or something else so at the back there's the speaker so it can do a two-way communication so you can talk through this one the only thing that i really don't like is sometimes uh the speaker it doesn't sound clear but it's audible enough so it's good it has the capability to do push alerts so when it detects something uh, on your phone it will have an alert on it so the next capability is that you can use this one on scheduling so you just schedule it if you want to record within this time area time period so you can do that with this indoor camera so another ability of this camera is that you can stream the videos from it through other smart displays so we have a tv which has chromecast in it so we can stream and also inside our bedroom we have the the google nest display so we can also stream videos from both our cameras there you go. okay streaming stair cam stream living room camera Sure, streaming the living room cam. Stream stair cam in living room TV. Alright, streaming stair cam on living room TV. Stream living room camera in living room TV.
So in the SwitchBot app, you can select uh, detection areas in which where the camera only sees. So this ability that I really love with this camera is that it has privacy mode. So privacy mode is that you can turn it off manually via your application so that it won't record when you're around your house and you don't want to be recorded. So you can do that via app or this product can work flawlessly with other SwitchBot products. For example, if you add a scene in the application, if your motion detector detects someone inside your house or you are inside your house, it will turn off the privacy mode. Depends on what scenes that you had selected. So that is a very neat option from this indoor camera. The pros and the cons. For me, the pro for me is almost everything that it does, it's very good. But the cons that I really don't like is that it's not battery operated, but for its price, it's okay. And I really don't like the micro USB power supply of it. So I think that's it for my review of the SwitchBot indoor camera. So the next product that we are going to take a deeper look is the SwitchBot motion sensor. This motion sensor has a dual sensor Sensor. So what are the, those sensors? So the first sensor is the PIR sensor. So the PIR sensor is the sensor that detects the motion of human. And the next sensor is the light sensor. So the light sensor distinguishes whether it is bright or dark. And also it can tell you whether that human motion that it has detected in the daytime or during nighttime. So the second ability of this motion sensor is that it can work with assistants. So if you have Alexa, Google, uh, Apple Siri, or uh, third party apps like Samsung SmartThings. So we use Samsung SmartThings with this one. Our light bulbs here are of different brands. So we use the Samsung SmartThings as a bridge with the SwitchBot motion sensor as a trigger to turn on, on and off those lights via the Samsung SmartThings. So this is a very flexible device. It can work without internet. So if you just want to work uh, in the circle of the, uh, of the SwitchBot ecosystem, it can work without internet. If you want to fully utilize the ability of this one this is very good if you connect it to the internet via your switchbot mini hub so the next ability of this one is that it can push alerts on your phone so the next ability of this one is that it has a very long battery life so unlike the camera it is battery operated as you can see it has two triple a batteries it will last up to three years according to SwitchBot, so it's very amazing. It will last a very long time before changing the battery. Like the camera, it has two mounting options, so at the back and below it. So there is also a button, multifunction button at the top. So below, it has the same mounting stand, just like the camera, so you can change it interchangeably with the camera. When you open this one, there are screws, mounting screws, if you want to mount it via screw. I had mentioned in the camera, so this is also magnetic. For me, this is a very versatile motion sensor device from SwitchBot. So the only con that I can see is that it's not really with this device but with uh, Samsung SmartThings. It's a certain delay so sometimes it's really fast, sometimes it's really slow. So pros, it's, it's very good. So it, it does what it is advertised to. Design is good so you can place it anywhere and it doesn't stand out and so it's not uh, very out of place. doesn't look weird so yeah, also the price, it is priced well. So if you want to check the pricing, uh, kindly click the affiliate link down below. Use the use our link so that you have this card. I think that's my review on the SwitchBot motion sensor. So the last device that we are going to review is the SwitchBot contact sensor. This is a quite unique contact sensor compared to other contact sensors in the market so as you can see this is the physical appearance of it it's built out of a hard white plastic this is the indicator light at the top this is a multi-function button so this contact sensor has the ability like the motion sensor to detect if someone is coming close you can press this one so this is a multi-function button so you can assign this one as an exit when you press this one so it can trigger scenes or any automations that you had made in the SwitchBot app or any other third-party app. So we have two of this one. So we installed this, especially this one. So we installed this one in the toilet and the other one is in the main entrance. And when each of these sensors are triggered, so it turns on the light and it informs me, my wife, that someone has entered or someone is using the toilet. 
So it's a great addition for the security of your house or automations inside your house. So it's a great addition. So this is the magnetic contact partner of it. The indicator light is lighting when you remove it. So that triggers the sensor. So you can use this one not just only to your door. So you can use this in windows, your cabinets, or anything that is on the open and close motion for the power. So this is powered by a double AAA battery. So this lasts long also, same as the motion sensor. The only con that I really hate with this one is that the locks below this one. So I had broken it earlier and I was trying to open this one. So I think that's my fault, but it's quite brittle. It's not that... Uh, built good only this part. So that's the only con that I can see with this product. So Everything else is good and also you can mount it anywhere as long as you have the tape And if you have spent all the other tapes you can replace this one. So it's good And yeah, I think that's it for my review of the SwitchBot contact sensor So hope you like my review on the SwitchBot indoor camera motion sensor and the contact sensor so before we end the video, I would like to thank SwitchBot for sending us these products. If you have other questions regarding these the products that I had covered in this video, just comment down below. Uh, I will reply to you as soon as possible. Spoiler alert, on the next video, I will be covering SwitchBot humidifier, SwitchBot hygrometer, and SwitchBot remote. If you want videos like this, smash that subscribe button down below and give a thumbs up if you like the video. I think that's it. So, see you on the next one. Bye. Peace.